Hey guys, Hillam Nation Productions coming to you once again live real quick. Go Rush 215 on Xbox, Twitch, Beam, and Twitter. Coming to you live real quick to give you a step-by-step -step update about Twitch because I'm getting more questions in YouTube about Twitch and how to deal with Twitch as far as the new Xbox update. So here you go, a real quick step-by-step -step tutorial and my thoughts on my review of what's going on with Twitch since the update. So first... If you're going to play a game on Twitch, first off, you have to start the game. I'm just starting any game real quick. Well, actually, I'll start a game that's actually going to start a lot faster. I'll start a game, and then what I'll do is I'll show you how you start your Twitch app, what to look for to know that your Twitch is actually streaming and running at the time, so you'll know when twitch is working okay so let's just go to roblox so what you want to do you want to open a game any game of your choosing you open the game you wait till the game actually is at a point where you're in the main menu of the game, past the start page. Basically, like, where you can choose what type of gameplay you want to play, story mode, multiplayer, so forth. Boom. Now, what you want to do, you want to press your home button one time. You want to go over. You want to find wherever you have your Twitch at. You want to open your Twitch. Your Twitch is going to take over your whole screen. You're going to go down to broadcast. You're going to broadcast your Twitch. You're going to go down again. Once that once the Twitch pops up on your right-hand side, you're going to go down again to where it says to broadcast. You're going to start broadcast like you used to. As you see, it didn't break the screen down like it used to and make the game screen smaller. It kept everything the same. Once you start broadcast, you're still not going to leave yet. You're going to wait until your broadcast is actually started. And you can actually see forward with the camera and you can actually see as you see you see the chat once your broadcast is started and you see your chat now this is when twitch you'll know your twitch your twitch is running you're going to go back to the game you're playing and as you can see right there at the bottom that bar that just popped up at the bottom right down here it has minutes that you've been streaming how many people are watching you if your mic is on or off? You no longer have a chat box. That's one downside to the update. Twitch got the downside to this update because now you no longer have a chat box. So now you need another device so you can know what's going on in your chat. Not only that, but you don't even know if your chat, if your stream is lagging anymore because you don't get to see.